Okay, boys and girls, we are going to be uh, continuing our study of graphing and data. We are going to be working on uh, chapter 7-8, which is 240 in your textbook and 241. So if you don't have your textbook opened at this point, you should uh, pause the video and go get your textbook and go get your notebook and something to write with. Okay. Alrighty. So let's look at this um, first set of graphs here. And on page 240, it says Leo and Jan each survey an equal number of students in different classes. So they both picked, it would be as if uh, one of you student went to um, my fourth grade class and surveyed people and another one of you went to the fifth grade class and surveyed. But because the fifth grade only has 13 kids, you only surveyed 13 in the fourth grade as well. Okay, so you, you both surveyed 13 kids. And um, they asked how they get to school, because in some places you have to take a school bus to get to school. After recording the data, Leo and Jan display their results in bar graphs. Since all the students answered the same question, you can compare the data because they answered the same question and there was the same number of students, okay? Alrighty, so the first thing you do is you have to look at the bars in Leo's graph compared to the bars in uh, Jen's graph. So find the bar on each graph that shows how many students came by bus. So you can see here is Leo's graph for buses. It goes up to the line 10. And when you go down to uh, Jen's, her bus line stops at uh, 8. Okay, so now you take 10 and you subtract 8 and it tells you the difference. Okay, it'll tell you how many more kids went by bus in the group that Leo surveyed, which was 2. Okay, so... Um, that's one way you can compare information. Another way you can compare information would be in a line plot like this. Say you had a line plot that shows the information from uh, the brothers and sisters of people who are members of Club A and brothers and sisters of people who are in Club B. But if you were asked to answer that question, um, like what's shown for number five, it says how many more members have one brother or sister in club B or A. So now you have to look at the two charts, but you can only use the information that is in one because they're asking you how many more members have one brother or sister. So, and, and to compare them. So here is the information for club A and you look at the number one for club B. And now you can answer that question by counting up how many X's are there. So depending on what kind of graph you're looking at, that would determine what you're comparing. In a bar graph, as long as the information is the same, you're comparing the size of the bars. In a line plot, you're comparing the number of X's for each thing that's being compared. 